Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Seas of Skin. Today, we are checking out a game as part of Made in Japan, and it is called God Wars. And it's, well, it's God Wars Future Past is the name of the actual games coming out. This is God Wars The Beginning, which is the opening prologue chapter to the game. Now, this is actually a demo that's available in Chinese and in Japanese on the Japanese PSN and on the Hong Kong PSN. So, I doubt I'm going to get much of an explanation as to what the plot is on this because I'm going to be playing this in a language that's not my own. But <clears throat> we've looked at God Wars previously here on the channel. Um, there should be a video up on this from a Made in Japan well, well back, which was uh, not the beginning, but it was the um, kind of like an intro to the God Wars franchise in a way. I remember a little bit of the gameplay in this. I remember getting my ass beaten, and I'm pretty sure. So let's see if, um, because we're playing the opening chapter, it might make a little bit more sense and seem a little bit more um, welcoming. It's probably the best way to describe it is actually the word I would use. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, nothing there is actually very welcoming. <laughs> That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. All right, let's take a look here. Um, let's get a new game. That's what we'll go in with. So we've got three different ways to look at this. Uh, I'm assuming these are all like new. Okay. Yes, interesting. Oh, damn it. Controller's actually died. Sakuya. Excuse me a second while that cutscene plays. I'm going to find an R controller. Excuse me, right back. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's Necessities. Necessities. Oh, my green screen sitting there over on the little side of it. Obviously, this is some kind of a priestess's uh, inauguration ceremony in some way, shape, or form. Shit, is it? Okay, is the little girl just going to sacrifice her ass? <laughs> oh no. Oh damn. This ain't good. Oh. Oh. That's really sad, man. Okay, so. Literally, from our first introduction to this, we've just killed a little child. Now, this character looks familiar to me. This is the one from our gameplay that we played of this beforehand. So, obviously, she seems to be aware of the death of the little girl. Okie dokie. The story eternally retold. Character name. Introduction. No idea who he is. Okay. Right, we're going to need to speed clip through these because it would help if I actually turn on the controller. <laughs> That'd be a good start. You know, there's actually a way to speed read through because... Essentially, I'm not going to get any context from this and from the conversation because I might be able to peel out a few words from the Japanese, um, like v audibly. I can actually I can understand a little bit that I hear, but I'm not very good with my re my my reading comprehension is garbage, which is kind of worthless whenever you're playing video games. Although, admittedly, it's a little bit easier now because so many games are actually voice acted, 
all the knowledge that I have is just basically from actually playing video games and watching TV shows. So it's not, it's not like a functional act, a language a version of Japanese. Okay. Plenty of soldiers wandering around. What's going on? So then, uh, you ever wonder why we're here? What do you mean here? Like where we're in this box canyon? I don't know, man. Why, why would you ask a question like that? Well, I feel that's pretty much just a red versus blue conversation that's been had between those guys. Oh, no. oh, apparently, Piss is under attack. Whoop! Oh. I'm a full ninja arm towards him. Okay. Oh. Giant bear guy. Okay. I punch you with bare fist. Ah. Big constant smile. So, uh, combat-wise, this doesn't remind me of the combat from the game I played previously. Turn one. All right. Oh, well, okay, it does. It, well, it was turn-based when I played. Mm, yeah, I have no idea what any of this means. Well, we'll just intuit this. As long as I know I'm actually going to be moving a character, and then I have an attack which has range, and I kill the guy who's in the way. Yes. Alright, there we go. So that's actually progress. Um, so we'll grab him. Move him forward. Attack range. Is that. 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 I think we will use that and hit that guy. Alright, so is this. Alright, so I did actually throw something at him. <laughs> Grand. That's a good start. And that's his stats, and that's end his turn. Do the same thing with Bear Boy here. Oh, shit. I just give him my AI? Oh, that means I can't actually control him directly? Oh, that's annoying. Unless it's actually because I made my attack move with that character already. So I need to remember to make my movements beforehand so that I can comfortably... Yeah, I need to make my moves before I actually make my attacks. Can I make a secondary move, can I? No. Or attacks all around. Attacks right in front. I could do that as well. Yeah, I need to wait until I actually have a chance to attack. Yeah, there we go. Put him here. And. Ah! That doesn't make me. Boom, boom, boom. Do I have anything I can throw to attack? No. I can't hit him with absolutely anything, so I literally just have to. In my turn, I suppose. Yep, there we go. Well, there we go. It's a turn-based combat game uh, with a kind of a cell shaded character design that's entertaining. I like the look of it. It looks kind of cool. Um, I'm sure there's actually a huge following or a history behind this game, as in like there's an anime series and stuff to go along with it because the cutscenes look pretty cool, but... I can't follow everything that comes through NIS um, uh, or Nice Ness, or is it actually just NIS? Just I can't go through every single one of their games expecting to understand what they're about because I'm I got burned by them. Not it's an NIS JS. It's JS, right? Sorry, I'm making some silly mistakes here. 
Um, I've made, got burned by them before with games like Agarest and stuff that actually just were just not my thing. I don't know why. I, like, I, I played them and I thought, right, I'll enjoy this, but I didn't actually enjoy it. I was kind of like forcing myself to actually play through it. Uh, some of these games are deep, involved, tactical, and interesting, but they don't they don't tickle my itch uh, the same way uh, other RPGs do. It just seems to be a lot of like strategy and tactics based kind of like combat rather than actually being uh, a traditional like combat RPG, I suppose. Guess who's getting punched in the face? Yes, you are. Ah. Just to work our way through the three of them. What's this? All right, so it's teaching you to actually be able to make multiple strikes. Oh, and attacking from different positions that people can defend. So if they're in a higher ground, it's easier to attack you. If you're flanking them, you can do more damage from different directions. I can see it there now. Oh, fuck, that guy's still alive? Oh, man. Did not know that. Uh, we need to do something that's actually... AoE. Uh, I think you can attack that guy, finish him off. Yeah, bye. I thought he had fallen to the ground and was dead. It was just the fact that I'd hit him and he crumbled because he was, like, so close to death. and get up beside this guy and punch him so hard it'll actually shatter his brains. <laughs> and the end of the turn. I mean, that's the point. Like, a lot of these games is kind of like whenever you're waiting for combat to finish. I mean, I, I like the cutscenes. They look cool. They sound interesting. But the this... Uh, like this kind of like tactics based combat just interests me, but it's just slow as hell, man. Do I have any health giving items? Is there anything I have that can give me health? Healing? Is there? Heal yourself. Boom. All right, let's see. Uh, how I'm actually just going to need to shift out of the way here. This guy's going to follow me in. Yep. Behind him now. Punch you in the face. Down you go. Level up. Okay, somebody calling for help. Oh, he's going down. I don't have any. Ah, uh, those are kind of like boosts rather than actually heals. Damn. All right. Um. Can't get around him either. Balls. Shit. So essentially, go up here and take a hit. Yes, 
I can hit him with something. to do this can I attack with this is it might as well boost myself in some way shape or form don't know what it does aggressive anger and damage Wait for this guy to come around to me yeah so he's gonna have to bypass the dude as well yep There we go. That was a very convincing hit. <laughs> Alright, so equipment has actually been rescued. And that's the match over. So yeah, that's what the combat's like in God Wars. Um, it's a traditional RPG positioning with uh, a tactical battlefield. Number of enemies, you have to use flanking and other things to attack. Uh, it's it's not, a, not a new game style by any stretch of imagination. Uh, the character designs are interesting and fun looking. Um... You can see them in the front cover of the game that's sitting over there, like our bear friend, and um, the other characters will be popping up along the way of this. Kintaro. I, I would, I would be interested in knowing more about God Wars, just because the art design is really interesting. But other than that, I'm not too fussed or entertained or excited about this particular game. That's, uh, that's that's all I got to say. So, um, guys, if you want to check out a bit more of God Wars, uh, if this, uh, like, even this just, like, basic kind of tactics thing got your attention, you can pick up a copy of God Wars The Beginning, which is the opening prologue to the game on the Hong Kong PSN or the Japanese PSN. Feel free to take a look at this. Um, if you enjoyed watching me play through this and you want to see other stuff that's actually coming out in Japanese stores and Japanese games that are coming out soon or in, like, the next few months, I mean, there's a couple of games that I've actually, like, I've done coverage for here on my Made in Japan, which are only getting european or american kind of like releases now because of translation things like uh dynasty warriors god seekers i played that like 68 months ago and showed it on here in the channel nobody really cared about it I mean, people want to play it because it's on dynasty warriors game and it's in english but um yeah if there's, is there anything there's a lot of games in this playlist that are worth that you're worth worth your attention just for a few minutes to see if the, you'd be looking forward to see them when they get translated across if you're never going to play them in japanese but if you want to check them out make sure to hit the subscribe button up here, that subscribe button makes sure that you actually get every single video as they come out here on the channel. And over here on the side, you can hit the playlist, which will be made in Japan and a couple of the more recent stuff that's actually been here on the channel. And it'll, of course, give you plenty of things to watch and look forward to over the next year. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.